everyone welcome to let's talk world conference day two we have arzu Ogyan with us but before i introduce you to her let me just tell you what she exactly does arzu is a legal affairs manager food and beverage operator of istanbul airport in turkey prior to istanbul airport uh, arzu was a senior lawyer at eta holding yes and she was the manager of legal team and advocate of tab gira sanai tikarit AS with full, full legal responsibility of Burger King, Arby's, Sbarro restaurants, operations, and all litigation files. She specialized in franchise law, labor law, and corporate law. Hello, Arzu. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm good, too. Thank you for asking. Uh, so, Arzu, please uh, brief us about your journey as a legal professional so far. Well, it's my legal journey is uh, it's about the 20 years, and I'm study. Uh, I'm graduated from the Galatasaray University in Istanbul. It's the best law faculty in Turkey, mm -hmm. and uh, we mainly study our Turkish law in Turkish. But in my university, uh, due to the Turkish law is inspired by Swiss law and French law and Italian law. We had a chance to study uh, Turkish articles and uh, comparing by French and Swiss law in French. And I had my LLM on uh, European Union law and I am uh, graduated from the MBA business administration master. And uh, I worked is uh, about uh, 17 years as a lawyer on the big brands is Burger King, Sbarro, Arby's, Popeyes. And now is in about for the last three years, I'm a legal affairs manager of uh, food and beverage operator of Istanbul Airport. And um, now I'm, I'm, I'm specialized on franchise law and uh, labor law as a employee's representative. Now I'm studying aviation rules and the airport rules. That's wow. it. <laughs> That's fascinating. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so uh, having this much, like, you know, uh, so much of experience, uh, Arzu, uh, tell us about your most memorable case. Well, as my most memorable case is, uh, well, when the case started, I was a junior lawyer. And uh, when the case finished, <laughs> I was a legal manager. Wow. It takes more than a decade. And then uh, we were debtor, and uh, we have an uh, X million debt. And the end of the uh, case, it was three X million K dollar. Mm -hmm. And then it's uh, when the case is over, we have so many things in the decade. Uh, I have a small resume to the president of the board of directors. And I asked him, it's a, uh, well, it was a X million debt, but at the end of the day, we paid three X million debt. Why we didn't pay when the debt is few? And he said, it's a, uh, I use this X debt, X dollar. Mm -hmm. I invested at the end of the 10 years, I have 10 X million dollar and we paid three X million dollar and we gained seven X million dollar. And then I realized that that's why they call them businessmen and they called us lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's, that's amazing. So uh, like uh, I, with, with your experience, uh, I just would want to ask you this question, uh, Arzu. Uh, what is the difference uh, between the in-house lawyer and a law firm's lawyer? Well, it's a nice question. It's, um, well, it's, I worked five years in a law firm and uh, 15 years as an in-house lawyer. When you work in a, for me, it's my experience. When you work in a law firm, it, I, you, you work like in a laboratory. Yes, but when you were an in-house lawyer, you became this company's team member. You have to uh, work in the company, but when you're a law firm, you're out of the company. That's a, the CEO can't see you whenever he wants. He has to call you, have a rendezvous, blah, blah. And as when you're in the company, okay, when you're in the law firm, you're giving a legal opinion in general. 
according to the law. But in the company, when you give a legal opinion, it's uh, you have to care about the, all the targets of the departments. For example, the legal opinion is coming from the law, to, uh, law firm, and then so when we discuss with the marketing team, in IT team, marketing team says that, oh, this, we can't do this option A, because in my marketing plan, we have some problems. You have to think about this option A again. Therefore, that's in a, when you're an in-house lawyer, and then you have to know all the targets of the department. You have to find the best solution. Right. That's why now is uh, I combine my legal perspective with my commercial, uh, financial, marketing targets of the company together and uh, find the best solution. That's a big challenge that I like more. That's why is I prefer to be an in-house lawyer. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much, Arjun. You're asking welcome. That question. Um, coming to uh, my uh, last question, I will not bother you after this. Uh, how do you look at franchise law uh, in 2021, and how do you think that it might change uh, wow. maybe five years down the line? Well, the franchise system is uh, very popular in Turkey, and then even on the all around the world. Uh, it's a uh, it's a management system. It's a investment system because is that now it's people are instead of depositing the money on the bank they prefer to invest this uh, exactly especially after the uh, especially they prefer the quick service restaurant fast food brands because as the when they open the restaurant first day the endorsements is high and the the brand is well known and you gain the money from the first day. It's uh, international brands prefer this to grow on the country. Even the Turkish brands also the, uh, prefer this system. And, but nevertheless, uh, we don't have any special franchise law in Turkey. It's uh, regulated by civil law, it's, uh, but it's, uh, as you know, and then the pandemic, all the restaurants are closed, but is a, you, with the delivery system, they are trying to work on. But I think in five years, we need definitely, it's a special uh, franchise law, is, has to be prepared. After what we learned from pandemic, it has to be in this law, and uh, uh, that will be a big thing in five years. Thank you. Thank You're you welcome. Very much. Thank Arzu, you for answering all the questions, and I really hope that you're enjoying your experience uh, at the Lake Talk World Conference. Ah, yesterday was very awesome, and then I had a chance to meet the, all the all around the world people, lawyers, and. Uh, most exciting topic was is the artificial intelligence. It's the main issue all around the world is that we need a, how we do the logarithm on the uh, artificial intelligence. Is it okay for legal system? Is it trustable on legal system? And I realized that all around the world, all the lawyers talking the same problems okay. and the solution we are expecting <laughs> the <laughs> IT can. people. I think IT yeah. people will choose, <laughs> will solve this problem. All right. Thank you very much. Thank also. you. I Thank just you. Hope that you enjoy uh, oh. the rest of the day as well. And Thank you. Take care. It's always a pleasure uh, talking to you. Uh, me too. Thank, Thank you. you.